beautiful. Oh, good to be back. Good to be back. Wait for a few more people to tune in, as always. And for those watching on YouTube, if you enjoyed that win and you haven't subscribed, subscribe. But we'll just get a few more people tuning in. Comment your thoughts as well. And uh, we'll, we'll get straight into it. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to the first live review of the season. Feels good to be back. So live things change completely. Looks different. Here we go. Yep. Beautiful. Got your thoughts. Comment them. Let me know who you thought was best on ground. All that amazing stuff, and we'll um, we'll get started. But yeah, I just want to give my thoughts first of all, my raw thoughts, and that was um, awesome. That was an awesome performance. Uh, Score-wise, obviously pretty low scoring. Both teams struggled to hit the scoreboard for a fair bit of that game. Um, you know, we don't really have the strongest forward line at the moment, and that was everyone's biggest worry going into the game. No king. No Hayes, no Membry, no Billings, no Sebros, no Caulfield. There's a lot of players missing, we all know. Very well documented. And um, you just knew that Ross Line had to pull something out of the bag to, to beat a pretty good Fremantle team who's you know coming off the back of a semi-final performance last season and everyone expects them to make finals again. And they pantsed us this time, of, you know, round 16 or so last year at Marvel. Absolutely pantsed us, so... That was just such a hard-earned win. Four-quarter performance. I thought a big part of why we won the game was how we just slowed Fremantle down so well. Every time they got it out of the back half, it was side to side. It was you know chipping it around. They we could not we could not we didn't allow them to go through the middle at all. It was such a well-planned zone. We didn't really play man on man for a lot of that game. We played a zone, and by that I mean we kind of, like, you could see players looking at a man, but for a lot of the game, they were five metres off them because they just wanted to add that extra bit of inferred pressure to the next kick. And a lot of the times, if you watch that first half again in replay, we should have scored more goals because they'd chip it around and then eventually try and go for that really risky kick in the middle of the ground. And that's where we, we could pounce because we, were, we had a zone there. So we could leave our man and impact that next contest. And we did that so effectively, effectively for a lot of the game. I was really, really, really impressed with that. And having that more mobile forward line really allowed that because if you have tolls, you know, they lumber around a fair bit and their ability is mainly in the air. But with us, we could have Filippo, who was very, very impressive, I have to say, in his, in his debut game. Kicked, I think, a, a clutch goal. But in that last quarter, he had, a, he had a say in a lot of those goals. Mason Woody handballed it. Um, I think it was the Gresham goal. He chipped it to Brad Hill on the run. There were so many little things that he did that were clean, not rushed, and classy. And we, we scored uh, as a result. So he only kicked the one. But if you look at uh, score involvements, I dare say he'll be near the top there. And if he's not, I'll be very surprised. So credit to him. Very, very good game. Caminiti competed all day, and that's exactly the that's the only thing we need him to do in these games. Same with Cordy, he's just compete. Cordy got his goal, which was the sealer, which was amazing. Very fitting for him to get that. And then Owens as well. It was just working his absolute ass off. So many second, third, fourth, fifth effort leads. He looked gassed so often, but did not put his head down, did not stop running and leading and offering an option for his teammates. I thought he was excellent. And just a collective effort from the back line. They were huge. Particularly in that first quarter where Frio really started pretty hot and got the ball in a lot. They were so switched on and disciplined. Wilkie was enormous. Dukes kept it simple for the most part and did his job. We negated Fife brilliantly. Jackson, I didn't notice too much on the ground. I thought Marshall handled Jackson and Darcy brilliantly. And I thought our midfield, they worked their asses off as well. I mean, our whole team did. But you could just feel like our midfield was really in the game. You know, sometimes you don't 
You think that that's our weakness and that's just an area that we need to improve. But Crouch was huge. Steele got going in the second half. Gresham was all over the place. And although his kicking was a bit annoying at times, he still found some good options and created space and had that X factor about him. Um, Hunter Clark impressed me in the middle. He showed a lot of physical presence in his game, which is a big factor. And why I think he can really make it there is if he gets better at that, he's going to be a very, very good player. Um, and special mention, I have not mentioned him yet, Ryan Burns. What a game from Ryan Burns. I have no idea how, what his stats were, but it just felt like he was an outlet kick every single time we needed him to be. And his running, his endurance was excellent. He worked his ass off. He had second and third efforts where he needed to break even in a contest, get the ball out of bounds, and earn a restart for the team. And he was able to do that. And then other times, he could take a bounce and run. And then other times, he'd let up at the ball, slowed the game down, just create an option for his teammates when they were in a tough situation. So Ryan Burns, kudos to you, mate. You could well be Saner of, um, Saner of the day or Saner, um, Dev, Ice Coffee, you know, player of the game or whatever he was. So excellent game from him. Um, very, very impressed. Very happy with the performance. Even he had 27 touches. There you go. Ryan Burns with 27 was enormous. But overall, this was this was a Ross Lyon game. You look at the scoreboard. You look at how relentless our pressure was from go to woe. Like, even when Freo got a few goals, a lot of them were. Like, three of the first five goals were from just free kicks, 50-meter penalties, Whatever you want to decide on that, whether it was there or not, it doesn't matter. There were three goals from free kicks directly in front. That was it. But I love that it never killed our momentum. That was a big thing going into this year that I wanted. Focus of, you know, if things don't go our way, don't put your heads down, don't lose focus. And there was one moment, Sainers, one moment that I noticed, and I said it to my partner watching the game, where I thought, we're fucking switched on here. This is a team that is switched on. And it was, I think, when we were subbing and uh, Brad Hill was coming back on the ground. Instead of jogging to his position for the bounce of the footy, he sprinted harder than I've seen him sprint. Sorry, guys, I think the internet cut out, but we're back. As I was saying, Brad Hill coming off the, uh, off the bench. Yeah, I was frozen. I think I'm back, so just give us a thumbs up if I'm back. Um, and... Yeah, Brad Hill coming off the bench was just huge. Like, just seeing that mentality, the amount of players that were pointing and yelling and, and just telling players what to do, uh, even some of the younger boys just doing that and seeing Steele on the bench with sinks, constantly just pointing and talking structures, not just sitting there and looking around and just enjoying the game. They were so in the game. It's hard to describe what that is, but you could just tell that the players were just analyzing every little detail, and they knew that every little thing that they got right was going to put them in a very good position to win this game. And we we did all that. We did all that. So I can't wait to watch the replay because I think there's even more that I've missed because I was at the ground and obviously watching the replay, different coverage, more camera angles and whatnot. But just what a great game, you know, what a great start to the season. That's exactly what I thought we were capable of. I really did believe in... In, in the team's ability to get the chocolates today. Fremantle are a good team, but I really do back our coaching staff and I back our players to really embrace what they're bringing. And we're not the most skillful team going around, but we play, we have a big heart. Every player plays with heart and that's what they did. And Mason Wood as well, have to say. He stood tall, you know, in the third and fourth when we need him to and kicked some really, really important goals. And um, now I'm really looking forward to next Saturday night against the Dogs. You know, they got they got pants last night. They're another team that, similar to Fremantle, played finals last year and was talked up again this year to be a top four contender. And we're going to go into this game with a bit of confidence. Uh, I think Seb Ross, we interviewed uh, Jack Billings and Seb Ross pre-game in the victory room. And that was awesome. So thanks to everyone for rocking up for that. Um... But he said he could be back next week. So Seb Ross could well be back. Jack Bytel was good. Uh, Dan Butler quiet, and he was subbed off for Ben Patton late in the game. And Pato actually did some pretty important things in the end. So good on Pato for coming on and impacting the game. Um, but yeah, just a, just a great performance. Um, I think I've given all the big thumbs up to all the players. But um, yeah, I'm probably missing a few. But I was just so impressed with the over, overall collective and how determined we were. And... Special mention, 
This is side note in terms of like Sana of the day. This is Sana's of the day. The bloody fans. There was only, a, there was only, but not bad for a Frio fa uh, crowd. About 24,000 today. But the crowd, and I wanted this all week. I was mentioning it in my videos that we needed to will the team over the line. And God, did we do that. The crowd, the, the crowd was so electric in that last quarter. Clapping, cheering, the, singing the song with a minute to go. It was so loud. I've never felt like, you know, it felt like the fans were really connected to the players. And that's the first time I feel like, you know, that's really happened in a while. So I don't know if it's getting Ross back, getting all the old faces back or anything, but they, it just felt like everyone was together and everyone was really united in this performance, which is a really, really special start to a special year in the 150th year. So full credit to you guys who turned up and I'm sure everyone at home was screaming at the tally and singing and cheering at the end as well. So awesome work to the Sanus who turned up. That was amazing to experience. So uh, we'll go through some of these comments. I'm trying to scroll. Facebook has bloody changed it, so I can't really see them. Um, but I'm just going to scroll as high as I can. And apologies again if the, uh, if the live cuts out. It's the bloody Wi-Fi in here. It's shit. Um... Uh, Jeff says, 14 out injured and still win shows determination. Absolutely. Um, Beth Ellis says, lacking originality, those haters. He's actually pretty consistent. Uh, I think there's just a few there. Who else have we got? Burns Big Tick. Absolutely. That's from Grant. Knock Knock. That's from Lockie. Yeah, bring it on, Lockie. Tag all the Frio fans. I thought they were going to win easy. There was a few that I spoke to this week. Um... Ryan Burns again. A lot of a lot of credit for Ryan Burns, which is great to see. We just kept plugging away. That's from David. Exactly right. It just felt like we were really focused, and there wasn't a moment in the game where I thought, okay, we need to switch back on here. Like, I genuinely did not think, okay, we're off here. You know, I didn't feel that way. I always thought it was a bit of bad luck, but the effort was always there, and I thought if we tidy things up a little bit, we could get on a bit of a run here. And perfect timing, it happened towards the end of the game when we really needed it to. And that was enough to win the game. Uh, Stuart says, nobody had us as a win um, while we won. So up the Saints. Yep, I picked the Saints in our Saints TV tipping comp. So hopefully that puts me higher up on the ladder. Uh, Jesse says, hats off to Higgins. Puts his body on the line in so many marking contests for a small forward. He took some big marks today, did uh, did Higo. Uh, I said Wilkie would frustrate five. That's from Kenny. Yep. He did an awesome job, Cal Wilkie, but we shouldn't be surprised. He's, he's a superstar of a defender. Um, unreal way to start the season. That's from Jordan. Yep, mate, it's an awesome way to start. The, perfect way to start the season. Matt says, Crouch, Wilkie, and Sinclair, great. Gresham needs to be a team player. Very selfish. I agree, but there were moments there where Gresh was a big difference as well. Filippo is a star. Yeah, this guy is going to be a very, very exciting player. When King's back, I can't wait to see that duo of Filippo and King in the forward line together. It's going to be dangerous. And honestly, Sainers, a lot of the game today, I was picturing like we were doing so much good work in the back line and in the midfield. And I thought, even if we just had one of Membry or King today, I thought, that's another three or four goal win. You know, I really felt like just that one extra tall, even Jack Hayes, makes such a big difference um, because there were a lot of good avenues to goal today, but we just didn't have the tools there to, to kick to. Um, good win. That's from David. Uh, again, we, we weren't expecting to win. Well done, fellas. Great win. That's from Joe. Crouch and Bytel. All praise. This, uh, this, our, this is our back line. These guys brought fresh into it. And how about the debutantes? Yeah, they, they were great. Um, all of them. Ryan Burns was unreal. That's from Taylor. Uh, this one's from Sandy. Well done to the fans. Keep showing up and getting loud. Don't think they heard me in Queensland, but I was doing my best. Uh, Stewart says, is it just me, but the energy that Ross brings to the club um, and supporters is unreal. Yeah, it just feels like we're one big, you know, happy club again. Um, yeah, and that's a great point from Christopher. You don't take two different AFL clubs to grand finals without being a bloody good coach. And I think we've got a very good coach. And um, Dijon says, we were sensational. So I'll leave it on that note, saying as there's so many comments, but... I just don't want the Wi-Fi to stuff up. Um, but there'll be plenty more coverage on the Saints TV YouTube channel. So if you're watching this, subscribe on YouTube because there's going to be a lot of coverage during the week about this game. That's forward slash Saints TV pod on YouTube and on Instagram at Saints TV pod. 
Um, and yeah, that was a bloody, bloody great win. So tough. That was Saints footy, but that was Ross Lyon football to a T as well. That's what we're known. But there were times where we went fast and it looked so fucking exciting. And our skills were a lot better than I was expecting for a round one game. At times, they were they were pretty scratchy. But for the most part, I think midway through the second quarter, we were going at about 78% kicking efficiency and Freo were at 80. So both teams were kicking a lot, but Freo were chipping it around a lot more than we were. So that's that's something to keep in mind. But we're on to next week. We are 1-0. and We're in the top eight, undefeated after one week. And we've beaten a team that we couldn't beat last year. Or we did once, but we couldn't beat in the second part of the year. And uh, they made finals. So that's one big tick for Ross Lyon. Now we move on to another team, a team that we can't stand. The Doggies, Saturday night, Marvel next week. And I'll see you all there. So thanks again, Saints, for watching. Enjoy the rest of your, your Sunday. And stay tuned for some more content on Saints TV. Plenty to come to dissect this game. So enjoy it, Saints, And I'll see you very soon for some more content. Thanks, guys. And go, you mighty Saints. Good start. See you, guys.